this is Ryan Stewart, and this is Hayden Stewart, and you're listening to Interbrews. This is Interbrews. Yes, you are. Hello, my name is Josh Stewart, your host, and with me, as you just heard, my daughters, Ryan and Hayden. Good Sup? Night. Sup? What's up, Ryan? You got to get closer to the mic. You can swing it out there closer to you. We're in the home studio today. Uh, I'm going to admit that I stole this idea from Catherine. They did an episode of She's Crafty at her house with her kids where they reviewed sodas and did that sort of thing. So we have a we had a week here where we didn't have another show scheduled. And y'all said y'all wanted to be on the show before. So I said, why not? Hey, Hayden's been doing a summer intern program ship here at Student Production. Yes, so I have. this is old hat for you, right? Yeah, I'm a professional. Yeah, <laughs> we've got a couple episodes scheduled coming up uh, the next couple weeks, Saloon Door, and uh, we've got one with the Craft Brewers uh, Festival that we're working on, and oh, also uh, Copperhead, their anniversary is coming up, so we've got one scheduled with them as well. So uh, some other shows coming out soon, but we just, uh, just decided we'd do uh, a little show here in the studio devoted to sodas. Craft sodas, soft drinks, right? They look good. They do look good. We'll get into that in a second. So um, let's get to know the Stewart girls a little bit. Why not? To the vast audience that is the Inner Brews listenership. Um, Ryan, your eyes got big. <laughs> this is new to you. What uh, What do you think about all this podcast stuff? What do you think? It's pretty cool. Yeah. You no know, way to bring it. It's kind of your first time to do this. Um, so what do you, what do the people need to know about you? You know, like, what do you think? Anything people need to know? I can tell them something about her. No, that's, let's not get into all that. Okay. <laughs> but believe it or not, she's the crazy one. Are you? Are you the crazy one? At home, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. You're all pretty crazy. Uh, oldest sister Reese, not with us today. She's at a friend's house. So, uh, Ryan, don't drink too much water. We don't take pee breaks in the middle of the show. But we can't pause it. I guess we could. It's, don't fill up on water. We're about to drink some sodas. All right. What uh, sodas do y'all like the most? Ryan? Like, what soda do you like the most? Fanta. Orange Fanta? That's yeah. your go-to? That's your favorite? Yeah. Okay. We have an orange one over here. Uh, what is that? You know, the first, the lightest one. I'm a pro. Now, I don't know. Uh, the yellow one. Yeah, the yellow one there. Uh, the hey, yellow one. That's orange. That's, that's the grapefruit. Uh, Hayden, what's your favorite soda? I don't really have a favorite, unless lemonade is a soda. I mean, there's sparkling lemonade. I guess that, yeah. I don't know. Um, on the board, we have three from Izzy. Uh, we have, there's, they have sparkling fruit juice flavored. We got four from Izzy. What did I say, three? Oh, we got four. Uh, sparkling clementine, sparkling grapefruit, sparkling blackberry, and sparkling pomegranate. Uh, I'm going to follow the beer tasting protocol. Um, going from light to dark, uh, so, because I, I don't know much about sodas. I've had, uh, a soda expert on before, but that's been quite some time. Uh, Aaron Manahan, he does the podcast and he has the soda jerk, uh, blog, or at least he has, it's been a while since I've checked in on that one, but he reviews sodas, uh, quite a bit. Uh, he's also reviewed both that we have two root beers on the table as well. Of course, the, uh, St. Arnold, yep, the... The hometown hero. Uh, the only brewery that packages and puts out a root beer. I feel like there's a, a big, huge uh, market there that breweries haven't tapped in. I know they're busy making beer. But I feel like there's a market there for craft sodas that, you know, even if they all just put out one, or not even everybody, just a few more put out one, like a ginger ale, right? Like a craft ginger ale would be cool. Yeah. Maybe a sparkling lemonade would be pretty quick. A lot of them have that stuff. When you go to the breweries, right? We've been to No yeah. Label, and they have lemonade. And Ryan has it. Well, Ryan's been to breweries. Yeah. But, like... but typically, they'll have yeah. something for the kids, right? Yeah. Mostly root beer, something like that. Mostly root beer, yeah. A lot of them have St. Arnold on tap there. Like, I know yeah. No Label had uh, St. Arnold on tap when you were when we were there a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, Ryan, what do you think? You like root beer? Yeah. When we go to the breweries, what are your favorite things at the breweries because i take y'all to a lot of them like drinks oh uh, whatever your favorite part about going uh what kind of brewery 
the beer brewery, just wherever the ones here in town. Like, is there some that you like more than others? Is there something about them that you like more than others? Like what? I like the new one that we just went to. The new one we just went to. With the uh, cornhole and the beer. Oh, garden. the Saint Arnold, uh, the beer garden. Yeah. And oh the, yeah. Well, that the only, yeah. Like problem I had about it is I wish it wasn't so hot. Oh yeah, but that's just. But that's, that's not the brewery. That's yeah. Like, it was 100 degrees. And there was a lot of people there, so that was also yes. kind of... Well, that was, yeah, that was their first weekend to be open. Yeah. So I bet if you go during the week, like we're actually going to do our liquid lunch show there Thursday. Ooh, Why? Hey. Yeah. Y'all won't be there, though. <laughs> Sorry. I won't be able to get back to drop you off with your mom in time. Um, but yeah, okay, so you liked, you liked uh, St. Arnold's Beer Garden. What else? What other breweries do y'all know? Do you remember? I, I like... Uh... When you go, what do you want them to have? I want them to have games. Like what kind? Of, like Cornhole is a fun one? Yeah, Connect Four. Connect Four. We'll play that one. At, let's see. We've played that one at 11 Below a lot. They're, oh, they're the ones cool. that, that we need to get them a new one. They're the ones that have the, the one column that was broken, so you have to keep your finger underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you... You Ryan did. wasn't there when we... Oh, we took Reese that. there, too. You, got, you missed out on that one. So, yeah, just Sorry. if 11 Below, if Jeff or Brandon or... Anybody's listening. Uh, the Connect Four has one column that has a broken thing, so you have to keep your finger under it. I'm just saying. We'll bring a Connect Four next time. We'll donate one to them below. They've done so much for us. We can do a little for them, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the name of uh, keeping the games going. What else? Giant Jenga. Y'all are a big fan of Giant Jenga, right? Yeah. It's giant. Yeah. Who doesn't like Giant Jenga? I mean, the only part I don't like about it is it's kind of actually scary because, <laughs> like... The whole thing could fall on you. Mm -hmm. It's loud. It is. It can be loud. Um, and it's kind of like awkward. Just like. Well, when you're your size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're extra giant. It's like super giant because they're taller than you are, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Yeah. About. What else do y'all like at breweries? I don't like. I like the food. What type of food? The last brewery you went to was, um, well, it was St. Arnold. But before that, we were at Bearded Fox, right? And they had the. Uh, the food. Yeah, they had the uh, grilled cheese sandwich, the gourmet grilled cheese truck there. Um, where else have we been? Somewhere we got baklava. Where was that? Uh, that was at. Oh, that the, was at Baleson. Yeah, that was. Yeah, huh? No, no, no. no well, yeah, we've gotten it there. But, show. Yeah, that was the liquid lunch, liquid lunch hundredth episode, Baleson. Oh, yeah. So you guys have been to a whole bunch of breweries. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you guys have been to more breweries than kids. Your age, I'm sure you're in the top one percent. Hmm. I bet. I mean, to think about how many breweries in this town you've been to. So, are there anything and at breweries you're? Times we've been to them. Hmm. And, oh yeah, you've been to them numerous times, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Are, is there anything at breweries you don't like? Uh, Let's just get it out in the open. Be honest, hard hitting. You know, uh, anything you wish that they had more of. More of. Yeah. Like. I wish they had more kids there. More kids? Yeah, because like there's just a bunch of grown ups and then <laughs> And they're boring? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What okay, so if there were more kids there, what would kids be doing? Playing. Playing, Playing what? Playing and talking. So kids to socialize with? Yes. So you think more grown ups they just talk about beer and beer and But y'all always have each other. Beer. But, yeah, but, I mean, we, we live with each other. We talk with each other all the time. So it's the same all, same all. You need other kids I, to correspond yeah. with. Have we you all ever considered kids. starting a podcast? No. Nope. Like a junior podcast? No. Doesn't appeal to you at all? It does. It does to you? Mm. What would Wait, you podcast about? Con. I Just because you're junior. desserts. Desserts? Do you, think, uh, do you think breweries need more desserts? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Like dessert trucks, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Something like chocolate. And if I started my own podcast, I would make something and then taste it. That would be what you'd do your podcast on? Yeah. Okay. Maybe that video podcast? Yeah. That makes more sense. Maybe I could make it on the podcast. Sure. A video blog or something. A vlog. If they maybe I'll it. just taste it. Maybe just not. you could do your own YouTube channel. Nah. Well, I mean, that's basically what you're talking about. A video podcast for you. I want a microphone. You'd have a microphone. I want a microphone. That's like kind of what Liquid oh. Lunch is. I mean, yeah, it's on YouTube. 
Yeah, it is. So uh, we'll figure it out. We'll work out those details. <laughs> Y'all have got busy careers. You've got school coming up. Yeah. yeah. All right. Y'all are going into what grade? Fourth. Y'all excited about that? Yeah. yeah. What are you most excited about? I guess my, all my math. friends. You're excited to see your friends and you're excited about math? Yeah. I'm not and, really excited. and the cafeteria. <laughs> I'm not really excited about all the math because math, math is no. so much fun. <gasps> What's fun Ooh. about math? You get to, you get to learn the answer. It's definitive. What's there's an there's a there's an actual definitive answer at the end. Yeah, yeah I like to learn math. Okay, math is I good. I like I like division, really multiplication, adding, and subtracting. But fractions. I like no, I like adding. Okay, and D- but you don't like fractions. Multiplication, I kind fractions of like fractions. Fractions are easy. I kind of like fractions, but I want hard stuff. I don't want hard stuff. Okay. What in the cafeteria? I, I like the mini corn dogs and spaghetti. All right. <laughs> mini corn dogs and sp- Have you ever had spaghetti with mini corn dogs on it? No. Would that be gross? They don't have it. No, it would not be gross. What about you? Anything in the cafeteria you like? Um, The Bosco sticks are okay. Bosco sticks? Like our dog Bosco? They're, yeah, they're spelled like that, but they're like breadsticks with cheese inside them. Oh, you're a carboholic. Cheese. But they're not very good cheese. It's not melty. I know, it's right? It's just a cheese stick. And that's one of the best things in there, which is sad. Mm. No, corn dogs are the best thing in there. What if they had food trucks come to the cafeteria? That would oh, be yeah. amazing. And uh, I want to get some brownies. At Cypress Christian, they have a different fast food um, restaurant thing every day. So some days they have Chick-fil-A. Some days they have CC's Pizza, mm-hmm. something like that. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about fast food every day. I will love it. I know, but it's not healthy. Not every day, though. Once a week? Yeah. I need to start packing my lunch. Yeah. Well, okay. They have, I also eat salad in the cafeteria. Ooh, you salads eat the salad? People used to spit in the salads at my school. Spit in the salad? Yeah, because all the teachers ate the salad, so people would spit in the salad. Well, well, no one does that. Okay, you guys are better off than we are. Because it's always closed. Okay, yeah, y'all are, they probably are smarter than people didn't think about that back then. Y'all want to get this to a soda? Yeah. This is a drink show. Yeah. All right, pass, uh, Hayden, pass over the Clementine. Can that I would be the lightest one. Open it. This one? Uh, yes. Can I uh, let me see if it's pry top or twist off. Let me it see. is. Looks twist like it's off. twist off. All right. It's twist off. Uh, here, Can I still let, open yeah, it? let Ryan open it, and then Hayden, will you pass out the glasses? Yes, I will. Now you open. I'll do the pouring because we're just going to do a little bit of each one. Sorry, I put that out of your reach because we've got six, no five, yeah, six different drinks to get through. So we don't want to drink too much. There's a lot of sugar. <laughs> Listen to me being all dad like worried about the sugar. Can you, you get it? Ryan. All right, you get the Adelbert's glass. I get the Eleven Below glass, and you get the. <laughs> Oh, sorry, what? Austin Homer. Oh, the Austin Homer supply glass, yes. Uh, here you go. Okay, let me see that. All right, so what color would you call this? I call it yellow. Gold, yellow, gold, yellow. Gold, yellow. Yeah, I would say so. This is the sparkling. Smells good. All right. It says uh, sparkling clementine. Clementines are those little oranges, right? Yeah. Flavored juice beverage blend from concentrate and other natural flavors. What other? Uh, let's see, lots of sugar. <laughs> Sparkling water, apple juice concentrate, white grape concentrate, clarified orange juice concentrate, and some other oh clementine clarified clementine juice. There's not a ton of clementine juice in this. It's not mostly clementine juice. It's mostly like apple juice and stuff. That's probably for cost saving measures. I don't know. There you go. Here's, Here's a little mine. All right. Let's see this. A little here. A little there for you. And a little here for you. It reminds me of like a it's good, it's gold good. beer. It does have a beer look to it, except for it's... Let's see. Let's smell it first before we taste it. It smells, it smells like apple juice. juice. It smells like... Apple. Yeah, a little apple Apple juice and oranges. Yeah, I do smell the... The, the, or, the clementines are not as sharp as, as your normal like navel oranges and orange juice that you'd get you know, in the morning. Like the... All right. All right. So let's give it a taste. What do y'all taste? It's a little tart. Is it? That's actually pretty good. I like that. 
Well, what do y'all think? But the, it's a little weird like in it. your throat. There's a little aftertaste. That's a little weird. And it kind of gets you right there in, yeah. the, in the jowls. Yeah, there's a little. And in your throat, it's a little weird. Y'all if you good? keep it on your tongue, it's on your tongue. That's, yeah. That's not bad. It's pretty refreshing, though. It's not overly sweet. Some uh, sodas, I think, are, co- are like overly sweet. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's sweet. Let's not, it's a soda for sure. Mm-hmm. That's kind of nice, though. Kind of like that. Hey, tell you what. Hayden, take your um, headphones off. Go get us one of those big cups from down in the cabinet so we can dump what we don't drink into those cups. So, Because we've only got the three glasses. Wait, what do you mean? The, one of the big plastic cups. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ryan and I will stall while you uh, run and get that. Story. No, we're not going to tell the well story. That's uh, we'll keep that in our hip pocket in case we need it someday. So, what do you think? You're going to drink it all, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Remember, we got a bunch more to get through. That's been the biggest lesson, Ryan, that I've learned from doing this podcast. Is um, you have to uh, moderate yourself as far as consumption. I can moderate myself. I know we didn't give you a whole glass, right? But. Ooh, and you hear the keyser kick on. That is my new keyser with the thermostat override that my mom gave me for Christmas. For Christmas? Well, the, the thing that controls the temperature. So now my kegs are out of the beer fridge and in a dedicated keyser here in the studio. Uh, the tap's not on it yet, uh, but there'll be... that. Yeah, well, that's somebody gave me that. It's a uh, Hans Pills tap handle that they had. I don't know, it's an old one, the old style logo and everything, so... Anyway, um, yeah, so we'll have beer on tap here in the studio on, in Liquid Lunch, or for Liquid Lunch, and I can finally jump back into brewing more beer. It's been a little while. A long time. Why are you growling? I don't know. It had, so the last time I, gosh, beer is probably, it's been over a year for sure. Um, do you like it when we brew beer at the house? Yeah. What do you like about it? I like that you... I thought I did it to help make it. Yeah, y'all throw in the hops and yeah. the smell. And, it's, and that gas thing that does the fire. The is, burner, yeah. It's cool. Yeah, it has a cool. Did you bring a... Stop, that's stop, not... Stop, no, no, no. A, just a cup. No, just a cup. I'll go get it. That's... Yeah. No, no, no. Go get a cup. Hurry. We're, we're doing a show here. You got... I need you to hurry. Run. <laughs> this is what we... This is always what we messing. have to deal with all day. Always messing. Always messing. Um, okay, so you are probably, don't clap, that's all that is heard on this podcast. I know. All the clicking and moving, that's one thing I've, like with a microphone, I realize how fidgety you guys are. You're all so fidgety. Perfect. Let me see that thing. I'm going to pour the rest of mine in there, and then we can get along to the next soda. But I realize how fidgety you are. I'm very Hayden's got, Hayden's got this new clicky thing going on. That she's, yeah. I had to explicitly say no clicking. It's a 